Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, and this is a continuation of our last video where we explored the Forta Manager's GUI. So uh, I did not turn on the Forta Analyzer features when I was first doing that last video, but uh, I did at the end of the last video. And now this is just kind of a, a wrapping that up, and let's go see what features are now available, management panes, in the Forty Manager now that it's also acting as a Forty Analyzer. So let's go ahead and log into our Forty Manager. So here's our, our Windows machine. Went to the IP address there, and it's admin. And if I can remember what super secret password I gave it. Oh, phew. Okay, good. <laughs> It's been a couple of days, I couldn't remember, so. Anyways, uh, now that you can see, there are a couple of different options here that weren't there before. So, uh, for starters, right down here, we have our sock view. We also have our log view, incidents and, uh, and uh, events, and also our reports. So, those are gonna be very specific to the 40 analyzer. So, now, don't get me wrong, there was also the sock view with the Forta Manager, but like I said, uh, it really shines when the Forta Analyzer is plugged in because essentially, guys, that's going to be the Forty view version of, well, this is going to be the Forty view version for the Forty Analyzer. So, uh, but let's go ahead and go back to our system settings here and see if anything's changed now that it's also acting as a Forty Analyzer. And you should notice right away that there is now storage info that wasn't there before. So uh, we're going to explain this a little bit more when we see our um, when we see our logs coming in, and also when we do ADOMs. But essentially, we are going to give quotas right to our different administration domains. And here we can see the root ADOM, which is always there, that has been allocated 50 gigs. All right, that's a maximum storage. And also there's a ratio here between analytics and actual log storage, and also the time that logs will be stored before they are purged. So um, won't make much sense until we start diving into that. And we will, we just gotta collect logs first. But that's gonna be, that's gonna be our first kinda noticed difference here when we are turning on the Ford Analyzer feature. So. Also, logging topology, this is actually brand new. I have never seen this before, so I don't know if this is part of 6.2. Once again, guys, I got all of my certifications for my NSC5 with uh, 5.4, so I'm exploring a lot of these things for the first time with you guys, so uh, that's kind of interesting there. Other than that, I don't really see anything else that's different now that we've turned on the 40 analyzer features from the perspective of of the system settings. So uh, going back to our management panes now, if this was strictly a 40 analyzer, we'd still have device manager because as devices come into the 40 analyzer to, to collect logs, they will show up here as managed logging devices. So they still need to be approved. We'll go through all that in the next set of videos, so on and so forth. But you can also see the status of uh, their logging too. So kind of neat. And then the sock view once again uh, we're gonna have way more way more options here now that we're a Forta analyzer so before all we could really see in the Forta manager was what devices were up and alive but now as um, logs start coming in and we start seeing threats we start seeing traffic flows we start seeing all the information uh, this should light up so I'm really excited to explore these so and then monitors, ooh, that's kind of cool. So, all right, see how it says 40 view right there. So, all right, then the log view is gonna be like our traditional logging. So uh, as the devices come in and they start logging, we can see the logs here kind of in a, in a tabular view and then we can filter them out, so on and so forth. So kind of nothing new there. Events and and uh, incidences. So guys, what's so neat about the 40 Analyzer is that it truly becomes a workable dashboard. So you'll be able to see threats, events, you'll be able to acknowledge them, right? So it's, it's, it's 
pretty interesting. So we're going to definitely explore more of this. So, uh, and then also here's all the event handlers that will go ahead and generate events and alerts. And uh, it's, it's pretty darn, pretty darn neat. So, um, and then the reports. Now, there's really no point of collecting all these logs from all over the place if they're not what I call digestible. If they're not able to give us some kind of message so we can make some decisions in a, in a very quick uh, readable way. So when it comes down to it, I will personally personally explore this with you guys on maybe generating some some reports that could benefit you. Uh, what's nice about these two is that a bunch of them come canned off the shelf, okay? But uh, with the magic of creating data sets and, and taking advantage of the 40 Analyzer's SQL Server, uh, we can generate some neat reports, make some neat reports, and even have them happen on a, on a schedule. So they're always emailed to us. And that way, you know, we can pretty much set it, run it, and then just start using it as a tool. So really excited to explore that with you guys too. So those are really the the four new additional features that the 40 Manager didn't have until it also became the 40 Analyzer. Now I haven't decided yet for the sake of resources. Um, I'm running all of these off of like a 10 year old laptop. And uh, I don't know if it's 10 years old, but it's about six. And uh, it can only handle so much, but I just might actually drop another device in here and have it as a standalone fan, uh, 40 analyzer just to kind of see how that all works. But uh, guys, that is it. So really, that was just a tour of all the different management panes from the 40 Manager and also the different viewing options that we have as a 40 Analyzer. So, And a 40 Analyzer is just a log aggregator, so there's no central management involved. But if you have a 40 Manager, you do have a limited version of the 40 Analyzer. And it's limited in the sense of, and I can actually see it here, if we go to System Settings on the dashboard itself, there is a limitation on how many logs per day they can collect. And even with this free license here, they're still allowing us one gigabyte of logging a day with 10 VDOMs, so on and so forth. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because really there's nothing else to show until we actually start collecting FortiGates <laughs> to centrally manage and also logs to actually run reports and see events. So guys, I hope to see you back in the next uh, video. And uh, once again, I do do these for my my uh, peeps, my peeps, my participants who, who are in my class. So um, I'm, I'm definitely not a YouTuber, guys, so I apologize if, if these for lack of a better word, 40 suck. So, uh, but feel free to uh, reach out on the chat in the comment field there if there's anything you guys want to request or see here maybe i can get up to it but um anyways all right i'll see you guys in the next in the next video where we add some 40 gates to the Forty manager so until next time